And now we are happy to share some information about Helmholtz and the Helmholtz Information and the Data Science Academy with you. So uh, for information about Helmholtz, we have here today with us Sören Wiesenfeld, and he is the head of the department research at the Helmholtz Association. Welcome, Sören. Uh, we are looking forward to your presentation on Helmholtz. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm very happy to give you a brief introduction into Helmholtz. Uh, and, and Victoria said already, I mean, the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy is part of Helmholtz. And we know that we have several challenges that face our society, science and economy um, these days more than ever. And it's at the core of our heart that we are convinced that this can only be done by really conducting top level research in order this will really help to really give contribution to that eventually yeah, bring us forward, lead to innovation and um, solve these challenges. And so Helmholtz strives for really research for grand challenges and we can do that in order to really tackle them on the challenges on a more systemic base and with a more holistic view. And of course, this can only be done based on scientific excellence, on interdisciplinarity and critical mass. Um, we'll come to that in a moment and really on long-term research programs. We can only conduct and solve these problems really by striving for long-term research, um, of course, very agile, taking up all important topics at a time and, and adopt to them, but really to have this long view in mind. We need, of course, highly um, talents um, and brilliant brains for our research. That's uh, where we are striving for to be a really an attractive environment for that. Um, a lot of research is really connected to large-scale research infrastructure. So we are experts in this really in planning, constructing, and operating these large-scale facilities. We are a prime strategic partner in the national and international um, environment. And of course, as I said, at the end, we want to solve these challenges. Of course, it's very important really to have this use-inspired view and in order to have this transfer of knowledge into economy and society. Helmholtz is the largest research organization in Germany. Um, our heart is at the 18 centers located all over Germany. And together with the Max Planck Society, Fraunhofer and Leibniz, we are the four big non-university organizations within Germany. And our employees in total, we have more than 40,000 employees, as you can see here. And you also reflect in these numbers that we operate a lot of large-scale facilities. So it's not only the core scientists who, of course, conduct these science on all kinds of level uh, there, but also really we need this personnel that really guarantees us that it can be large-scale synchrotrons, it can be research vessels, it can be um, satellites um, or other kind of facilities. And in this field, of course, it's very important to inherit the supercomputers we have up to the exascale um, computer, which is under construction in Jülich these days. And it's, of course, very important to have searches on all levels. That's where I can pick the doctoral researchers uh, individually there as well. Our annual budget at the moment is at 5.8 billion. Um, Two thirds of this is institutional funding. This is, of course, a privilege for us and also very important in order to tackle these long-term program issues and, of course, then supported by third-party funding, as you can see here. And as I said already, the core of the organizations, of course, the 18 highly interdisciplinary research centers distributed all over Germany. And you can see them here, wherever you are in Germany or everywhere else. Of course, more, I'm, I'm sure you heard of one or the other center already. And this is, of course, where all our labs are, where the researchers are, and where this exciting research is uh, being done. I said already a little bit about um, the research challenges that we have. We organize them in six research fields. I think this is very clear. Energy, we strive for a, a climate neutral energy system in the future. We need to know more about the things that the basic process is going on to understand really our planet Earth, the environment, the atmosphere, uh, and so on. We do a lot of biomedical research. I mean, this is the core for all of us sooner or later. 
uh, for example, um, we have the mobility at all scales in aeronautic space and transport. The name says it's there. A lot of done very really basic research is in the research field matter, which is really about the properties of the smallest particles and things we find, which is then also very exciting, of course, if you look at the early universe. Um, of course, the whole big field of information science that brings us, and which is also a link to uh, the whole um, framework of information and data science within our organization. But of course, not all problems can uh, only um, attributed to one research field. Um, where there are a lot of interdependencies and in particular for the whole area of information and data science has been clear for years already that the development and um, digitalization, as you can see here, of innovative approaches for information processing, information technologies is a central challenge for all centers, for all research fields. And this is why um, Helmholtz really decided to have a cross-cutting activity really where we bring in to all kinds of, of experts we have in our organization already. And of course, to broaden it, to bring in more expertise and really connect all of that. Because we know that this field, we have excellence already, but it will be become of more and more importance. So we need to um, yeah, enlarge that. So it must be, as I said here, the primary goal must be to create really new knowledge from the enormous data I referred already to all our large scale facilities, which of course create all this exciting data. And of course you want to do something with the data. This is what we need for our research. Uh, we need to do it and to strengthen our domains with new technologies. And that's, as I already said, this is, there's a normal um, international competition, of course, in this area. And really it's important for us to join forces and to bring this up. Um, in this um, organization to create an attractive future field for creative talents such as you. That's why you're interested in, in joining here at this career day. And um, yeah, to bring this together, this knowledge and information and data science with the other thing that we have, namely these domain fields that we have where whether it's again, energy, mobility, climate, um, you name it. And that's why we have created in 2016, the whole framework of information and data science, starting with the incubator, where we really brought together experts from all different centers and research fields um, to really have a community-wide think tank um, to give impulses to, to, to just yeah, meet, discuss together and identify um, issues that are important for the whole association and out of which we created these five um, high technology platforms. Um, I've together with HEDA, because I mean, talent management is maybe you're going to know name it a high technology platform, but it's it's as well a platform which is very, very important for us. Numerous innovative pilot projects has been initiated uh, by the incubator, and this connects the whole community within Helmholtz but also with universities and other partners um, within Germany and um, beyond. And this has also helped to create the visibility of the entire association um, as a key player and also hopefully also as a really attractive field um, into which we can be active. And so that's the framework as it is right now. Said the incubator still is this think tank. In the middle of it, we have the four, name it Helmholtz AI, really devoted mostly to artificial intelligence, um, cooperation for the whole association, imaging, metadata, and the research infrastructure, the federated infrastructure for, for our research EFIS. And then, and that's why we come to HEDA right now, really to hear to the HEDA is the whole um, um, academy for exchange for, for development and, and in particular the research schools. I'm back into that in a moment. This is the framework we have. And yeah, this is the end of giving you a short, at least introduction into Helmholtz as an association. And then I'm happy to give back to Anne to continue. Yes, thanks about Learn for all the useful insights about the Helmholtz Association. 
We would now like to continue to give you some information about the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy, which is Germany's largest postgraduate training network in the field of information and data science. And for this, we have prepared a short and sweet video for you. HEDA, the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy, is Germany's largest postgraduate training network in information and data science. We prepare the next generation of scientists for a data-heavy future in research. The Helmholtz Association is investing more than 90 million euros in this unique network of data scientists. HEDA funds mobility, promotes further education, supports the recruitment of top scientists, organizes outreach, courses, events, and more. At the core of HEDA's program are six Helmholtz Information and Data Science schools, MAR Data, DASH, Hybrids, HDS Lee, Hits for Health, and MUDS. They form a unique network between 13 Helmholtz centers and 17 top-tier universities. Their goal? Solve the grand challenges of our time. The Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy offers you training and lectures, exchange programs, networking opportunities, conferences, hackathons, and career events, transfer of expertise, and method exchange. Design the future of research with your data science skills. Become part of the HEDA network. Yes, great. So you have seen a little bit what that we are doing here at the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy, but probably, you know, ask yourself, okay, but what can HIDA do for me? And um, this is the reason why we have prepared a little presentation for you. And we would like to get a little bit more in depth into what uh, our offers are. So, um, yeah, we will have a look at our presentation. As already said, um, the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy connects and serves as a roof to six data science research schools. And they are spread all over Germany, as you can see here in this little map. And they are linked by a network of 14 national research centers and 17 top tier university. And with that, the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy is Germany's largest postgraduate training network in information and in data science. So what can HIDA do for you? You can join our training and networking event. A lot of those offers are mainly for Helmholtz employees, but we have a couple of events and um, trainings which are also open for the research public. So um, for example, we have our HIDA lecture series where we invite national and international data science speaking about their research but also giving um, the opportunity to exchange with colleagues uh, during or after the talks so um, please um, check out our website the links will be posted very soon and um, you're welcome to join those sessions i think the next tita lecture will be up in december and we will have a very exciting speaker there as well Moreover, we are providing conferences live, but also online. And um, for example, also hackathons. In the hackathons, we are providing um, our guests the opportunity to work together, to exchange data science methods, but also working on our great systems, uh, on Helmholtz systems, like the supercomputer in Jülich, for example. So um, also here always, a couple of seats are open to the scientific public and um, yeah, we are happy to um, yeah, exchange and, and judge with international talents. Um, furthermore, we have summer schools and training and those training activities you can find in our course catalog. This is also a link which we provided in the chat now and you can find more information on our website. 
So really check out the event calendar and the course catalog because here's very interesting information provided about our training and networking events at TIDA. But this is not all. We have also further offers for you. Yes, there are our funded mobility programs. So we have different ones in place. There's, for example, the Trainee Network Program. This is interesting for everybody already working at one of our Helmholtz centers. And for this, you can go for a period of one to two, three months to another Helmholtz center and work there in a lab on your own project. There is as well the Helmholtz Visiting Researcher Grant. Very exciting for everybody not yet working at Helmholtz. And there you have the chance to go to a Helmholtz center and as well work there on a one to three months project. We have also um, exchange programs with dedicated international partners. Yes, also very cool. Also from like up to three months, um, you find all the information about it on our webpage. The link will be shared in the chat right now. And very important for today's event, actually, our Helmholtz Data Science and IT Job Board where you will find all the Helmholtz Data Science and IT jobs centralized on one page. And I just checked it today. They are all up to date. So go and have a look at it. And the link will be also shared right now in the chat. Yes. And if you still don't have enough <laughs> from the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy, and you think this might be interesting for you now, also in the future, and you would yeah, follow up on our event, mobility programs and other offers, we just invite you to explore our website. Um, as mentioned, the links will be posted. You're also um, invited to follow us on X, formerly known Twitter, and on our LinkedIn page, where we also have a lot of yeah career activities going on. And if you want to have regularly more information about the Helmholtz Information and Data Science Academy, please subscribe to our GIDA newsletter. So with that said, we are really happy that we could um, yeah, inform you about all our activities, about um, what we offer at Town Hall. And uh, now we would like to head over to uh, the next program point, um, our conference speakers.